Trump had to deliver on a damn thing he said he'd do. He hadn't delivered on infrastructure. He talked in 2017, 18, 19, 20. He's going to give us an infrastructure plan. He hadn't done a damn thing. But why didn't he do it four years ago? Why didn't you do that four years ago, even less than that? Why didn't you I do it? You were vice president. You keep talking about all these things you're going to do, and you're going to do this. But you were there just a short time ago, and you guys did nothing. I always like not just to look at the top line figure, but at these underlying trends. Let's throw this yeah. Wisconsin poll up there. So this is kind of the whole thing, to be honest. Right, with exactly. You. So today, Wisconsin voters say that Trump they seems more concerned about the wealthy and the elite rather than the middle class or the poor, and relatively few say the same of Biden. This, to me, is a strategic, massive failure by the Trump campaign to go after Biden, because I guarantee you, you go look at that poll, Hillary of 2016, it would be the opposite. One of the key things to understand about Trump is that they did not see Trump as a typical Republican. They th saw him as more moderate. That right. doesn't mean he was a moderate on policy. They're saying like, they don't see him like a Romney Ryan type typical Republican. This falls much more in that old caricature of the Republican politician. I keep saying Trump became a real Republican at the very worst time um, in order to run for re-election. And look, Biden's are not doing all that great either. But you could have dramatically driven his negatives um, up and you can actually see, as so the New York Times say this, as many other places, his favorability ratings are significantly higher than they were during the Democratic primary. Hilarious. And even in the Democratic primary, they didn't really do anything to him. No. Right? Bernie and all them completely kept the kid gloves on whenever they were fighting. So you can see what a great attack against Biden, sustained about tool of the globalist, you know, the globalist establishment and all that really could have destroyed him. I think, in many of these key states, but they just decided not to go that way. That poll basically is the entire race right there. Donald Trump allowed Joe Biden to occupy the lane of the populace. Yes. I mean, this is Which very is simple. Insane, right? Why did Trump win last time? Look, there are a lot of factors, but by and large, he was the more populist candidate. And this time, even last debate, when he had his best performance, what is he arguing for? He's arguing against lifting the minimum wage. He hasn't been able to get a stimulus. Dem Democrats have been out there begging him for months, like, give people money. And he's like, no. And then finally he came to the table, but hasn't made that push that we've been talking about to really put pe pressure on people to get things done. And that ultimately falls at his feet. So... Not like Joe Biden has been, you know, incredible in what he's offering, but he put forward a Buy American program that, you know, I think landed effectively, especially in those critical industrial Midwestern swing states. And he has, he is a better candidate than Hillary. I mean, he has more of that, like, working class Joe, Scr Scranton Joe affect that is landing better in the region in spite of obviously the policy failures that we talk about here. There's also some halo and goodwill, I think, about the auto bailout from his time in the Obama administration. And so, yeah, you end up with this place where people think that Joe Biden is going to be more in touch and fighting more for the middle class than Donald Trump. And that is really a lot of the ballgame. Yeah.